focus, focus. Why won't you focus? Focus. Thank you. I think you're focused. Is this book worth ordering all the way from South Korea? Will your reading abilities improve? That is a question that I will be answering for you today. 안녕하세요. You. 안녕하세요. Hey you. It's a Jaya, and welcome back to the channel that does its best to encourage you to believe in your ability to learn Korean. So today I want to give you guys a review of Yonsei University's academic Korean reading intermediate level one book, also known as 그 대학 강의수관을 위한 한국어 읽기 중급 일. So if you couldn't guess from the title, this book is meant for those who want to take classes in Korea. And I don't mean classes like Korean language classes, I mean classes, like college classes in Korea. Or I guess technically you could also say those that want to engage in just academic content. Yep. Why don't we start off by talking about how this book is structured. So this book is broken down into 10 units. Each unit has its own specific goal. For example, unit one is all focused on helping you learn to skim Korean texts. Unit two is all about helping you find the thesis statement of a text. And unit three is all about finding the keywords and so on and so forth. In addition, each unit is broken down into two parts. The first part is all about developing your general reading skills on various topics, while the second portion is about uh, developing your understanding of longer texts and encouraging you to make inferences based on what was presented in the passage. There's also a discussion question at the end of each unit that can be used if you're in a classroom setting. Moving on to my personal thoughts about this book, the main thing that sticks out to me is that the readings are actually very, very interesting. They're things that I really want to read and enjoy reading and they don't feel dry like a textbook. Da -da -da -da. Which I know that is very subjective, so let me give you a few examples of some of the readings in this book. So, uh, one of the passages was about why there are endangered languages and what we can do about it. There was another that was about the dangers of peer pressure, another on how hunger came to be formed. Like There were just so many different interesting topics in there that it was very enjoyable to read and to realize like, wow, I know enough Korean to be reading about this. Like obviously it's not native level Korean, but I mean, it's a step there. Moving on to the actual level of this book, I do think that the grammar in this book matched topic level three really well. So I think it would be a good supplement to anyone who is currently studying with a level three book or a topic three book or basically intermediate one book. I think it's great in that sense. However, I did notice that the, like, the vocabulary in here is very like random vocabulary I guess I could say like the vocabulary is in the vo first intermediate level of vocabulary that you would be learning if you were just starting to work with intermediate material so if you were just moving from level two to level three or from upper beginner into intermediate material I would say wait on this book because there's gonna be too many new words to the point where like you're not getting much out of it at first so I would say work through a few chapters of your intermediate resource first and then start trying this out see how it feels, see if you're actually gaining something from it or if you're just defining words. Um, because each of these units has about 15 to 30 new words that it expects you to not know. But on top of that, I found several passages where there was closer to an additional 10 words that I didn't know. And that's coming from me. Like personally, I'm someone who's working with topic four material. I've been working with topic four material for a while now, which if you don't know what topic four is, it's upper intermediate material. So to be using this book and still not know a lot of words, I was very surprised, I guess. I also want to mention that although it's not explicitly stated in the book anywhere, I did notice that the passages become increasingly more difficult as you work through it. So the first half of the book was really, really easy for me. And then the second half was noticeably more challenging in regard to the type of vocabulary that I was expected to already know. Now to answer the real question, did my Korean reading abilities improve? AKA, is this book worth ordering all the way from South Korea? AKA, do I recommend this book to self-studiers? Personally, I don't think I got a lot out of this book. I don't think that my reading skills improved much through it, and I'm not gonna say it's because of the book per se, it's more like this book was below my level. I think if I had gotten this book a year ago, it would have better matched my abilities and I would have gotten a lot more out of it. Um, in addition, I know I've talked about how each unit had a specific reading skill that I wanted to help you develop, but honestly, I don't think that they really helped me develop those skills any more than they were before I started the book. Like, I just, I don't, I know I did all the exercises that it wanted me to do, but I just, I don't know, I just don't feel like they were very effective in helping me develop those skills, even when I did find a certain passage difficult or challenging, if that makes sense. So I kind of just ended up using this as 
uh, more reading practice that was kind of varied compared to my other textbooks where the readings were very aligned to what I had been learning in that chapter. However, I did learn a lot of new vocabulary that I don't think I would have learned if I had just stayed with my current Eva books and my Seoul National books. So win for the book there. Overall, I do think this is a very good resource and I recommend it to anyone who has some kind of like academic aspirations for their Korean uh, abilities. Um, but if you're just like trying to talk in Korean, you're just trying to get through daily life in Korea and things like that, you, I think you can skip this book and not even worry about whether you're missing out or anything because the information provided or the things you will learn from this book aren't going to benefit you too much. With that said, I already have the Intermediate 2 book here on the shelf. I am very, very excited to start learning with it because I think it'll better match my level and I anticipate that I will get a lot more out of it than this one. Uh, but if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this Intermediate 1 book, I will put the links for it in the description box. And if you're interested in just hearing about more Intermediate material in general, I have a whole video about my favorite books and materials there for you down here, or maybe it's down here. I don't really know anymore. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. So tell me bye, you guys. Bye.